All right. So we've done the, the, light, the bar graph and the line graph. Now, if you have your eyes set on getting above a C for the graphs, you, you've got to produce something that's a bit more complex. Um, the difference in, in essential mass between uh, an A and a C is just the complexity of the questions, the complexity of the activities. So what I've done here, I've got the same um, model numbers with the same max R RPM as we saw in the bar graph. But I've added the price and I've added the warranty. So actually I'll just uh, send her that stuff. Okay, so we've got how many dollars this is and we've got how many years of warranty each model has on it. So what we can do is we can produce a graph that has all of this information or just part of it. So let's do, I'll do, do two, two different ones here. So let's um, do something slightly different. Before, I don't know whether you noticed this, but before, when we highlighted the data, we didn't highlight the headings. Okay, this time around, I'm going to highlight the headings. So if you notice that, I've got the headings there highlighted. Okay, so now I go back up to insert recommended charts. All right, now see how the first one there is this clustered column chart. Let's go with that. Okay, so it throws it up there. Okay, so let, let's have a look what's going on here. We've got price is the orange stuff. Okay, and the max RPM is the dark blue stuff. And it's all using the same thing here. Okay, now that's all well and good. We can do that. Um, and again, you can change title, uh, you can change colors. Uh, but the thing is, we've got two completely different sets of data, price and RPM, using the same chunk of numbers here. Now that can be a little bit confusing. So what we can do, if you head up here to change type up here, you click on that, and it gives you a zillion things you can do. But if you go all the way down the bottom, to combo. Click on that one. Okay, now this is pretty cool. You can actually have the the price as a line in amongst the bars, or we could go the other way. If we uh, had that as a line and that as a bar, yeah, we could do that. Okay, but Let's just have a look what's going on here. We're still using the same chunk of numbers, which is where the confusion is. See this over here where it says secondary axis. What if we have the line being read off a secondary axis? Or the price. Let's go to the price. If we click here. Bang, look at that. So what it's actually done is it's saying, right, there's two vertical axes here. Um, this one here is reading the RPM. Okay, no, sorry, all the way around. This one here is reading the price. So this one here is dollars. This one here is RPM. So price is orange and it's being read off there. This stuff here is the RPM and it's being read off there. Okay, so that's a little more complex. So let's just hit okay. All right, so we've got that. And then we go and do the same thing as before. Uh, let's chuck some titles in. Okay, so this is still model number. All right, but what's up here now? It goes up to 4,500. Well, yeah, that's that's this bit here, isn't it? This is that's the maximum there. Max RPM. All right, so let's do that. Maximum. RPM, okay, and this one over here is the price. And dollars. You make sure you tell the reader that it is dollars. All right, now, you think, well, you know what, I really don't like it. That orange is pretty disgusting. Kind of blonde, uh, clashes with my complexion, you know. So I'm going to go over here and right click format data series let me just do that again i click on the orange and highlights all the orange right click format data series left click 
Okay, so I can change uh, all kinds of things here. If I click on this one, I want the fill. Hmm, let's go. Uh, let's get some colors out. That's a nice soft color. Let's go. Let's go gray. Okay, I want that gray. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to have a dotted line here for. Come back here. I'm going to have a dotted line. It's going to be black. Just down here says dash type. Boom. Okay, and see how it's automatically changed down here? Alright, and chart title. Um, let's say this is graph 3, because uh, we've already done two graphs. Oops, what have I done? deleted that okay put it back in so let's go graph 3 and it is investigating different models okay so there's more information on that it is more complex to do there's a bunch of other things I can do as well I can uh, you yeah, know sort out borders and so on make it look a bit better but that that will do the job okay and then again I can you know copy uh, get open a word document which would be your assignment and then just paste it in Okay, and then once it's pasted in, you know, I can I can change its size if it'll let me. Yeah, so I can play around with it like that. Okay, now, so that is one way to go. Let's just put it over there, but we haven't done any of the warranty stuff. So what if... What if I wanted to go big or go home if I do all of it? So remember, I'm doing the uh, the headings, okay, as well as the data. So the recommended charts, back into that one. Awesome. Okay, now, the warranty, you can't even see it because it's the, the warranty only goes up to five. You know, so we've got zero to 4,500. You can't even see it on that one. So let's go change chart type combo just like before all right now the warranty this is really important see how we've got the warranty is on a line so you can see the gray line there all right but it's still big deal it's splat down the bottom there if i go secondary axis now we're looking at something a bit more meaty all right so up the side here is my warranty now over here we just have to live with the fact that this is both maximum RPM and price, depending on which of these bars we're looking at. So, same old, same old, let's add the headings. So this one here is going to be what are these numbers? Now they are maximum Maximum RPM, then I'll put a slash, uh, it's also price in dollars. So the reader looks at that and goes, oh yeah, okay. So depending on which of these these bars I'm focusing on, I've got to read these numbers as either RPM or the price. Okay, fair enough. Over here, this is our warranty. Warranty in years. Okay. Now again, I don't like those. Oh, hang on. I've got to do the model number here. Now again, I don't like those those colours. Let's let's make it a bit more uh, a bit friendlier. Okay. So I right click, format data series. Now this is my line. 
Okay, so oh, over here. Uh, go away. All right, I want the bucket or the paint bucket. The line, solid line. Yep, in black. I might make it a bit thinner. See this width here? Let's just make it a little slimmer. The line, and let's have it dash because I think that looks cool. Okay, and then, uh, you know what? I'm thinking green. I'm th feeling like a green sort of fill there. Okay, so go up to here to fill, solid fill. Uh, boom, I've got green, but oh, no, nah, I don't like this one here. Let's fix that. Ah, look at this, pattern fill. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Let's chuck a border around it as well. So the border, I want a solid line. Yep, good to go. All right, so let's look at what it's done here. It's automatically changed the legend down the bottom here. Okay, and it's got everything sorted. So that will do the job. We could have to then change the chart title to be the same as before. These are the kind of compound graphs you'll need to produce if you're gunning for a B or an A on the assignment. Cool.